Hey everybody, it's uh, Mike with Production Crate and I have a, actually kind of a different video for you guys today. So I was just in a press like pre-briefing for Nvidia's Omniverse and this is so new that at the time of recording this is actually under NDA. As soon as they lift it we're going to release this video because there's some really cool stuff. The reason I'm talking about this is it kind of has to do with a video that we put out earlier which is audio to face which is you remember the talking superhero guy, the talking werewolf. You can just kind of like upload your characters, record some dialogue and it makes your characters talk. There's some updates to that. Now my favorite announcement, maybe not the biggest announcement, but for me, it's huge, is they announced that audio to face is going to have blend shape export support. So that's something I, I thought would probably be coming and I was hoping it would. But what this means basically is when you upload your character to audio to face and you record, right now you can just basically export the animation. It's kind of baked in and you just get that one animation or however many animations you create. But what they're going to allow you to do is export the actual blend shapes, which is every pose. And that means that I can create custom rigs in Maya. Right now, audio to face is kind of limited to dialogue and audio, which means you have to constantly be talking. And once the audio stops, the person stops talking into the microphone phone, the character's face kind of goes dead. That's because it's totally audio driven. But what if you just want your character to be silent, but like go through facial expressions or look surprised or scream or something. So what this will allow us to do is bring those blend shapes into Cinema 4D, Pose Morphs, or into Maya and create custom rigs and do all that other extra stuff. Also, if you remember from our video, in audio to face, it allows you to animate the face in real time by just talking to the mic and pressing record and it just goes in real time. So during the press briefing, they announced that audio to face is going to integrate more with MetaHumans, which is Unreal Engine's um, new human creation system. So what I'm hoping that means is in real time, we'll be able to talk and record and control our MetaHumans. I'm not sure if it's going to be real time connection into Unreal, but I'm really hoping it is because that, that seems pretty exciting and pretty cool. So a couple of the biggest updates that I was most excited about, they're really digging into USD support. So USD is just short for universal scene description. Uh, the way they describe it is it's like HTML for the 3D world. It's kind of a universal language, universal file format that all programs that hopefully are going to be able to use to integrate each other. So if you're making something in ZBrush, making something in Maya, texturing in Substance Painter, and then bringing it all together in Unreal Engine or something, it's supposed to be a universal file format. Right now we have FBXs. If you're into 3D, we have FBXs and you can transfer rigs and models and things with textures, but the materials between different programs are not exactly compatible. So you have to recreate all of your materials, redo all of your lights. The cameras come over, but there's a lot of work when you're transferring files back and forth. So hopefully the USD thing will uh, take off because I'm really sick of messing with FBXs. And actually here at Production Crate, we're working behind the scenes on getting that going in our store. Uh, the other thing they talked about is they want to kind of make Omniverse sort of a place where you work. So once you create your assets, you can assemble your scenes in Omniverse and they really want to make what they call one click collaboration possible. So let's say your team is working on a short film and we're building an environment for the background. Once all your 3D artists create all the trees and all the people and all the whatevers, you can import them into Omniverse and then everyone on your team, even if they're in different parts of the world, can come in and in real time just move stuff around like a game engine, basically, and just kind of assemble the scene. You can do shot framing and whatever with your team, which is very exciting because, you know, I work remote. A lot of our team here works remote at Production Crate. So it'll be really cool to collaborate with people in real time again. Now, the biggest announcement is that it's out of beta. If you're watching this video, it's out of beta and it's free for individuals. I was kind of worried that the, only the beta was free, but no, they said for individual licenses, it's going to be free forever. So again, if you're watching this video, the NDA is lifted, the Omniverse suite is updated. You can go download it now for free. So uh, link will be in the description. Definitely go check that out. Rest assured, we're going to dive into it as soon as possible, uncover all the cool tips and tricks and uh, record content for you guys as soon as possible. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Let us know what sort of things you want us to cover, what sort of things you're hoping that Omniverse can do. And uh, we'll dig into it for you and record some videos. Make it awesome.